June Havoc, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, distinguished herself from her contemporaries through a unique blend of talent and resilience. Her ability to seamlessly transition between acting and other facets of the entertainment industry set her apart. What made Havoc stand out was not just her acting prowess, but also her tenacity in navigating the challenging landscape of show business. Asking about a personal impact or inspiration from this classic Hollywood actor draws attention to the tangible influence they had on individuals. While we won't delve into personal anecdotes here, it's evident that many have been touched by their work and persona. Now, let's invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to June Havoc. Your stories and insights add depth to our understanding of this iconic personality and their impact. Keep watching as we'll uncover some funny, shocking, and poignant facts about their journey in the entertainment industry. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to June Havoc? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. And stay tuned for more interesting facts about this classic Hollywood actor. There's much more to discover. In the annals of entertainment history, one name stands out for enduring impact and noteworthy contributions, June Havoc. Born in 1912, Havoc's journey through the golden age of Hollywood and the theater world solidified her as a remarkable actress deserving of celebration. Originally named Ellen Evangeline Havoc, she began her career as a child vaudeville performer alongside her sister Louise, known as Gypsy Rose Lee. The sisters traversed the demanding world of show business during the early 20th century, captivating audiences with their unique talents. Havoc's ability to seamlessly transition from vaudeville to Broadway and later to Hollywood showcased versatility and adaptability in the ever-evolving entertainment landscape. What sets her apart is not only captivating performances, but also resilience and determination in an industry known for its challenges. In her time, she became a beacon of inspiration for aspiring actors, breaking barriers, and leaving an indelible mark on the cultural landscape. Her significance goes beyond the characters portrayed on screen or on stage. She embodied the spirit of an era marked by its own set of trials and triumphs. The journey serves as a testament to the strength and tenacity required to navigate the complexities of show business during a transformative period. In the world of entertainment, June Havoc's name echoes through time, reminding us of a remarkable talent that graced stages and screens alike. The impact, both as an actress and as a symbol of perseverance, continues to resonate with those who appreciate the rich history of the performing arts. Celebrating her is not just an acknowledgement of artistic prowess, but a recognition of the role in shaping the narrative of a bygone era. As we revisit performances and reflect on the journey, it becomes clear why she remains a figure worth celebrating a true icon of her time. June Havoc, the accomplished actress, has left a lasting legacy through a combination of memorable quotes and intriguing anecdotes. In various interviews, she shared insights into her experiences, providing a glimpse into the world of acting. During an interview, Havoc reflected on the challenges of her career, stating, acting is a constant journey of self-discovery. You learn more about yourself with every role you take on. This quote encapsulates a perspective on the continuous growth and introspection required in the dynamic field of acting. Co-stars also spoke about her dedication and professionalism. A fellow actor once mentioned, working with her was an absolute pleasure. The commitment to her craft and the collaborative spirit she brought to the set elevated everyone's performance. Behind the scenes, there were anecdotes that revealed her determination. In a particular instance, she faced unexpected challenges during the filming of a crucial scene. Undeterred, she improvised and turned the situation into a memorable moment, showcasing adaptability and quick thinking. In another instance, a crew member fondly recalled she had this incredible ability to lighten the mood on set. During long hours, her humor and wit kept everyone motivated and engaged. These quotes and anecdotes collectively paint a picture of June Havoc as not just an actress, but as a dedicated professional with a passion for her craft. Her words and actions resonate with the challenges and triumphs that come with a career in the entertainment industry. In conclusion, Havoc's impact extends beyond performances on screen, leaving behind a collection of insightful quotes and entertaining anecdotes that provide a glimpse into the world of acting. June Havoc's notable achievements in the world of theater mark her as a trailblazer. In 1964, she earned a Tony Award nomination for Best Direction of a Play, a distinction achieved by only one other woman before her, Joan Littlewood, three years earlier. 
Havoc's directorial prowess came to the forefront with Marathon 33, showcasing significant contributions to Broadway. Her impact on the stage continued to be recognized, securing a nomination for Broadway's 1964 Tony Award as Best Director for the same production, reinforcing standing in the theatrical realm. This acknowledgement underscored her skill in steering dramatic narratives to captivate audiences. Beyond creative achievements, June Havoc played a distinct role in Hollywood during a tumultuous period. Standing alongside Richard Kant and Paul Henraid, she was among the rare Hollywood Republicans who took a stand against the blacklist. Their resistance adds another layer to her legacy, highlighting as one of the few individuals in the entertainment industry who challenged prevailing political currents. In summary, her journey encompasses groundbreaking moments in theater history and a steadfast stance against political adversity in Hollywood. Tony Award nominations and a pivotal role in combating the blacklist reflect a career marked by determination and innovation. These aspects collectively paint a comprehensive picture of impactful contributions to the world of entertainment. Estranged from her sister Gypsy Rose for many years, they reconciled before Gypsy Rose's death in 1970 from lung cancer. Beyond her theatrical accomplishments, June Havoc's life unfolded with distinct facets. Active in the First Presbyterian Church in Stamford, Connecticut, she found solace in her community. In 1986, meticulously listing achievements to the Los Angeles Times obituary editor, emphasis was on commitment to factual accuracy. Her career spanned diverse roles, from guests starring on The Paper Chase to sharing the screen with the village people in Can't Stop the Music. Notably, a Tony Award nomination for Best Director in 1963 came for Marathon 33, a play adapted from her novel Early Havoc. Interests extended beyond entertainment, seen in the 1978 restoration of Cannon Crossing, a pre-Civil War village in Wilton Con. Unusually, a letter omitted mention of her burlesque star sister, three marriages, or daughter April Hyde. Navigating through personal and professional realms, her life intricately weaves a story of reconciliation, community engagement, and a commitment to factual representation. Navigating a four-month marathon, June Havoc and her partner clinched second place after an exhaustive 3,000 hours, ultimately splitting a 100 prize. This endurance feat marked a unique chapter in their journey, showcasing determination and stamina in the world of dance. Notably, Havoc earned a 1975 Joseph Jefferson Award nomination for Best Guest Artist, recognized for a role in Twigs at the Pheasant Run Theater in Chicago, Illinois. This acknowledgement underscored their skill on the stage, adding another layer to their diverse career in entertainment. While identified as a Republican, Havoc didn't adhere strictly to party lines, occasionally casting votes for Democratic candidates. This political nuance adds an intriguing facet to their persona, reflecting a willingness to cross party boundaries when necessary. From grueling dance marathons to acclaimed theater performances and political fluidity, June Havoc's life unfolded with distinctive episodes. The ability to navigate through different realms, be it the stage or the political landscape, contributes to a narrative of resilience and adaptability. A journey marked by endurance, artistic recognition, and political flexibility, showcasing a multifaceted individual. June Havoc's journey unfolded with a unique blend of experiences and challenges. In a 1980 interview with the Los Angeles Times, she humorously reflected on her early days, recounting an amusing encounter during her wedding certificate application. At the age of two, Havoc commenced her professional career, becoming a seasoned performer by the age of four with numerous film appearances. By 1919, at seven years old, she commanded a substantial income as a leading child star on the vaudeville circuit, earning one 500 a week. Following a prolific career, she passed away at the age of 97. In accordance with her wishes, she was cremated and her ashes were scattered in the garden of her cherished Connecticut home. This decision reflects her deep connection to the place she called home. These snippets provide glimpses into her early encounters and later choices. From a whimsical wedding certificate episode to the pinnacle of vaudeville success and a poignant decision about her final resting place, Havoc's life was a tapestry woven with diverse threads. These anecdotes unveil aspects of her personality, resilience, and connection to her roots, creating a nuanced portrait of a remarkable individual. June Havoc, known as the sister of Gypsy Rose Lee and the aunt of Eric Lee Preminger, had a diverse heritage. Her father hailed from Norwegian descent, while her mother's ancestry traced back to the British Isles and Germany. 
Born into this mix of cultures, her life unfolded with unique chapters. The connection to Gypsy Rose Lee marked both estrangement and eventual reconciliation. Meanwhile, her role as Eric Lee Preminger's aunt added another dimension to familial ties. Her family background played a significant role in shaping identity. The Norwegian roots from her father and the diverse blend of British Isles and German ancestry from her mother contributed to the rich tapestry of her heritage. In a career spanning various realms, from vaudeville to Hollywood, she made notable contributions to the entertainment industry. The diverse heritage and family connections provide a backdrop to understanding the multifaceted aspects of her life and career. Navigating through familial complexities and contributing to the entertainment world, her story remains a compelling narrative underscoring the significance of heritage and relationships in shaping an individual's journey. April Kent, born to June Havoc, met her end in 1998. This loss marked a significant chapter in her life, adding a layer of personal sorrow to an already eventful journey. The rift between June Havoc, often known as Baby June, and her sister Gypsy Rose Lee became pronounced due to the content of Lee's hit Broadway musical Gypsy in the 1950s. The estrangement endured for over a decade, finally coming to an end when Gypsy, facing a terminal cancer diagnosis, sought reconciliation. In 1954, the sisters faced the death of their mother, Rose, who succumbed to colon cancer. This event prompted them to believe they could openly share their life stories without legal repercussions. Gypsy Rose Lee's memoir, titled Gypsy, was published in 1957, eventually transforming into a renowned Broadway musical featuring Ethel Merman as Mama Rose. June Havoc's life, entwined with family complexities, personal struggles, and professional achievements, offers a captivating narrative. From the loss of her daughter April Kent to the poignant reconciliation with her sister Gypsy, each episode shapes the contours of her journey, making the story resonate in the annals of history.